So in my most recent video, we talked about the population of every Great Lake. Where we went over every single Great Lake, and I calculated up the population of the coastal towns and cities, and added them all up to see which lake had the most population living directly on it. Now to do that, what I did is I went into Google Maps, and I went to each Great Lake, and I basically just went city by city, and if it was on the lake, then I would add it into my calculator, and then we would calculate it all up. Then I went around every single lake. I mean, it took like probably an hour to do all the lakes, so it wasn't like a crazy time commitment, but still, it wasn't necessarily the most efficient way to do it, and I knew that. But anyway, so then I got this, and so this is the population of every, basically every town that was over 500 people that's on every lake. So then I calculated all of those up, and I found out that Lake Michigan had the highest population of any great lake. So anyways, moving to my comments, this one came up today and he said he recommended that I use the NASA population estimator to draw areas to see their population accurately. Now, as soon as I saw it, I was intrigued. I wasn't on my computer, but I knew I was pretty immediately going to go up and get on my computer to look at that. Basically, I've been looking for this type of thing for years. I've been doing this geography YouTube for like, what, two, three years now. And this is absolutely something that would come in handy. So basically what I saw this to be in the comment is that the NASA population estimator um, is basically exactly what I've been looking for for this entire time where you draw a square and it tells you the population in there. There have been a few ways I've thought about doing this if I actually need it because I have needed it in a lot of videos. There was a political map making website that I used to use a while back and that was, it went by precinct and it would show you the population of all those precincts added together. So I actually thought about just making like using that congressional map maker to make what I wanted basically. And so if I need to find out the population of some area, I would use that political map. But I think that's only registered voters. So then I decided that wasn't a good idea because it might be a little inaccurate. Anyway, so then I went on my computer and I searched this up. And so here we have it. So this is the, the NASA population estimator. So just initially looking at it, first of all, it's a really good population density map. Just looking at it right, right here because it has like every individual, I think it just goes by like little squares. And then all these squares have like a certain amount of population. So just looking at it like this, it's actually a cool map. Just on its own and it goes in these little square type of calculation which I actually think is really interesting so it's a different way to look at it but anyways so then I got on here and as soon as I saw this I was like holy crap this is exactly what I've been looking for like if I were to go here and I would just draw a line around this lake just like this now it's calculating it all up and we'll find out what the population is after it loads but anyways yeah now we have the population and it goes by 2020 right here, 3,300,000 basically. Now that took me literally like 10 seconds to put together and it loaded for another five. It's got the demographics on it for 2010, I guess. But anyways, you can see the population growth. So you can see that this population has been pretty stagnant and it actually went down in 2020. But the main thing is just that it took me basically no time. And I've been working, like I worked for an entire hour to figure out the statistics for this when I could have just been doing that. And it takes me like virtually no effort to do. And I just thought that was crazy because there are so many situations where I just want to know the population of a given area. Like if I go over here, I want to know the population of the Boston Metro. What I deem to be the Boston Metro, then I can just do that. Like, okay, let's say I... I do these shaded areas. That's what I consider to be part of the Boston Metro. So that's my Boston Metro. Then it'll calculate up the statistics and then I can go a little more detailed and specific to what I'm looking for. 2.9 million right there. Because a lot of the time when I look up statistics for these things, when I see metro population, I don't know exactly what's being included. I don't know if it's exactly what I'm looking for. And what I especially found fascinating is the population growth because that's going to help me out a ton where I have the population growth from 2000 to 2020 really easily right at my fingertips right here. And I can do it more specifically how I'm talking about because sometimes if I talk about it a different way than the statistics I'm saying, that's going to make me look dumb just because I don't really have access to what I, what I need. But in this situation, this is going to help me out in so many situations to really be able to figure that out. So anyways, I encourage you to check this out because it's really cool. And um, honestly, it's changed my life that I just figured this out. This is going to help me out in so many videos, probably like half the videos. So yeah, I need to tell you guys that because it's a really big thing for me.